teased. If you guys enjoy any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure review and it is on the brand new Epic Moments Undisputed Freaking Era 3 pack right here guys. My Jesus. It finally arrived Brad. I've been waiting around all freaking day. All day. I've just been waiting on this 3 pack. This is the most excited I've been about a figure 3 pack since uh, the Epic Moments Hardys I think. I think that is the most excited I have been uh, for a set of figures until now so uh, this Undisputed Era 3 pack guys is absolutely insane we have Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole and Bobby Fish the most dominating stable in NXT history I would say um, we're going to take a look at the box first of all guys you have the front plated window here it says Undisputed Era up here I love the colorway we got going on we got black gray and yellow we got their names listed below some more yellow and white at the bottom if we spin it around here you see an image of Adam Cole Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. We got uh, at the top it says NXT. On the back we do have a little read up. If you would like to read this you can pause it now. We also have an image of Kyle O'Reilly, all of his stats, Adam Cole and all of his stats, and then of course Bobby Fish with all of his stats. Uh, another, a lot of cool images right here with all three members and we have another NXT logo over here. Spinning it around you got the WWE logo and then another image of them. In the top I love the shape of this box. I think it's so cool that it's like a triangular sort of, I don't know what to call it, but you got like a trapezoid type -ish shape going on and yeah that's pretty much it for the packaging guys undisputed era is ready to shock the system here in mdt so let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging and here we have the undisputed era out of their packaging guys my lord jesus almighty would you look at this we have kyle o'reilly Adam Cole and Bobby Fish in Mattel Elite figure form. This is absolutely insane. Can you can you even fathom what is happening right now, guys? Like think about like two years ago. Would you ever think the Mattel would have produced an Adam Cole figure? Now it's it's lifelike. It's here in the plastic, right in front of my freaking eyes. And we're gonna take a closer look at everything, guys. I am super excited for this set. Again, I, I'm probably more excited for this set than um, like the Hardy Boys. That's uh, that's the only thing I can compare this to but uh what we're gonna do is take a closer look at the accessories that they come with and then we're gonna take a look at individual members of the undisputed era themselves all right guys taking a closer look at their accessories starting out on the left this is the shirt that does come with kyle o'reilly i'm pretty sure they're all three the same though and uh, this is his shirt. You see, it is the Undisputed Era official shirt there. Got a nice logo as it is. It is cloth. You know, same cloth material we always get with Mattel figures. I love the shirt designs. Um, this is one of the shirts that I want to pick up in real life. Still haven't done that yet. We have another Undisputed Era shirt. It's the same one, and it is Adam Cole's. I don't know if there's any differences between the three. Here's is Bobby Fish's. So we get three different Undisputed Era uh t-shirt well they're not even different i just said they're pretty much the same so we get three t-shirts that are exactly the same and then of course we do have an armband right here that is undisputed era this comes on the adam cole figure and if you'll notice uh it was on his left arm and then kyle o'reilly we'll get into it in a minute but uh, I'll, I'll cover the whole armband issue but you do get one removable armband instead of three and uh this it does go on the adam cole figure that's pretty much what you get for accessories guys so uh, now that we've covered their accessories let's move on to kyle o'reilly the figure so starting out first with Kyle O'Reilly guys I'm pretty sure behind Adam Cole that uh, Kyle O'Reilly is probably the favorite member everybody loves his humor everybody loves his style in the ring he's a very very good in-ring competitor obviously but here is his figure guys I am loving this head scan um, it's a bit outdated you know it's sort of a shorter hair look than what he currently sort of has you know he, he has a better like longer looking hairstyle right now but I still love it I love the beard that we got going on right here in the head scan we can take a little zoom in shot real quick and you can just see Kyle O'Reilly in this head scan. I mean, my God, look at that nice beard going on. I love the likeness that we get with this head scan. Very, very nice um, for Kyle O'Reilly's first figure. I'm sure we'll get basics um, sometime down the line or when they get caught up to the main roster. And then we go down into the torso. Guys, you can see it is the Daniel Bryan style torso. And um, I think this is a good choice for him. I don't really think with his body mold, you could have chose anything. If anything else, maybe the Bo Dallas torso. But I still think that this works for that smaller guy, you know, body mold. Going over here, you do have his uh, tattoo right there. And I'm not sure exactly what that says, but I'm sure it's in a 
different language. If we move it around, you can see it goes all the way around his rib cage right there. Going into his arms, you will see that this arm has the painted on Undisputed Era armband. And uh, you'll notice that the Bobby Fish figure does not have the armband. And then Adam Cole has the molded armband. So the reason this is because is because uh, my boy DFreedom30 on Instagram, he pointed out that this is from a specific um, set of NXT tapings is when this, these figures are based off of. And if you base it off of those NXT tapings, Adam Cole had the armband on this arm, Bobby Fish did not have his armband, and then Kyle O'Reilly always wears this, so he had this on. So it's from those specific tapings, and that is why uh, all three of them do not have the same exact painted on armband and what's it called. So I think it works out. I mean, we'll get into uh, Bobby Fish and Adam Cole later on, but there is a way around this. If you want all three of them to have the armband, there is a way to do so. Um, which I'll probably cover in a later video if I end up doing it myself. But going down into the hands, guys, you do have taped up hands. I love the taped up hands for Kyle O'Reilly. You know, he, he rocks it. You can see in the background right here, he always has that going on. Into the tights, you got the Undisputed Era logo right there. On the back, we got some gray and red tones going in there. Sort of looks just like a Daniel Bryan figure, sort of. If you look at the torso and none of the tattoos or stuff, and you just look at the tights and torso and legs, you would think this is a Daniel Bryan figure. Going down into the uh, knee pads, guys, we do have Kyle O'Reilly logo. Got Undisputed Era logo right there. They did mold these legs in black and then paint on the skin tone, so hopefully we don't get any paint chipping problems. On the back, you do get some gray stripes, some red and gray over here. And then down the, uh, the back right here, you do get some cool stitching and stuff going on on the kick pads it says O'Reilly on this side and then you get um, red on the face and that's pretty much it for the Kyle O'Reilly guys everybody loves Kyle O'Reilly I'll go ahead and play some highlights right now on why people love Kyle O'Reilly Sanity are the only team oh! 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 apart from wow! the other member of the trio known as Undisputed Era Adam Paul oh, oh! 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 beautiful oh! 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 Kyle O'Reilly oh wow Razor, you have to have multiple plans. And O'Reilly and Fish now need to make adjustments. And again, the champions advance. And you can just see, guys. I mean, people just love Kyle. I mean, he's just a great guy. He shows humor in the ring, and he's just he's just a beast. So Kyle O'Reilly is up. Let's move on to Bobby Fish. So taking a closer look at Bobby Fish, guys, you can see with this head scan, my gracious alive, it looks just like Bobby Fish. I'm loving the facial hair and the hairstyle and the facial expression. It's just an amazing head scan. All three of these guys have great head scans. Going down into the torso, we do get the Daniel Bryan mold once again. Uh, we got plain arms pretty much. Uh, you got white wrist tape over here, sort of longer, and then over here you've got a black uh, sort of like forearm band and then some white wrist tape over it again. He's got tape fingers as well, just like Kyle O'Reilly, but again, he, did, he does not have the undisputed arm band, which isn't a big deal to me. There's a way around it. And um, you will have to spend some money, but you can actually get him in this armband. It'll just, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys that later on if I ever do it. But uh, right here, going down to the trunks, you do have the fish logo. Nice silver and black and red paint. We spin around his trunks. It does say infamous right there. You got the star in the center. Nice font going on with this logo going down onto his leg. So he doesn't have, you know, the short tights like uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. He has, you know, sort of like the biker trunks or whatever you want to call those. Going down into the legs, same painted on uh, skin tone. And there is a freaking issue right here. Look at this right here. They didn't freaking complete the black all the way down, even though that's actually not that big of a deal. You can easily find black lower legs like this, so that's that's not that big of a deal, but I'm still going to gripe about it. Uh, we got the Undisputed Era logo over here. Nice swishes going on right there. Back of the knee pads are silver. And then going down into the kick pads, they're very similar to Kyle O'Reilly's. A bit different here. You got a different design going down the back with similar colorway. You got another logo here. You got a cross on this kick pad. RIP right here to this kick pad. And on the back, it does say fish like Kyle O'Reilly's does. And now, that pretty much covers Bobby Fish, guys. And it sucks, you know, we don't get Roderick Strong just yet. But I'm sure some customizer, somebody out there is going to make one very soon in the Undisputed Era attire. And, or his New Orleans attire where he joined the Undisputed Era. And um, I, I think that'll be beautiful. But now that we've covered this, guys, let's move on to Adam Cole, baby. Now, taking a look at everyone's favorite member, I'm sure. And who wouldn't love this figure, guys? Look at this head scan. My God, the likeness is totally there. Got the nice blue eyes going for Adam Cole. 
got beautiful, you know, that uh, that technology they use for the facial hair looks great. I love the hairstyle and color, you know, his long locks of hair going down his back right there. No longer having to use Bo Dallas hair. We can actually buy a Mattel figure of Adam Cole. Going down to the torso, they did use the Daniel Bryan. I think that the Bo Dallas could work as well. And yeah, yeah, I think those are probably the only two that would work, either this one or Bo Dallas. Anything else is probably going to be, you know, a bit too ripped or a bit too pudgy. So uh, that is what we're dealing with there. On this side, he does have his forearm tattoo, black wrist tape. He does have his removable armband, which we covered before. Another black wrist tape, no taped fingers for Adam Cole. Going down into his trunk, you see the AC logo in white with a red stripe and gold trim. And on the back, it does say... <laughs> And you got some white stripes going around right here. Red Undisputed Era logo located in there. I'm pretty sure if you didn't want an Undisputed Era attire, you could just come in and paint that over with some white and it'd be good to go. Going down into the legs, I know a lot of my friends have already removed these legs and replaced them with uh, bigger legs or longer legs. And uh, you can see they are on ball joints. So very easy to customize. You know, pop those off, pop some bigger ones on there if you want to do that. He does have the larger knee pads, which is accurate. He does wear the larger ones, but I will be switching them out with smaller ones. I'll probably be switching out the legs as well, but, um, you know, it, it's it's uh, that'll be for a later day. Going down to the boots, you do have black solid boots, but it does have the Undisputed Era logos on the sides. Again, if you don't want these, there's a ton of figures out there with black boots, Randy Orton, yada, yada, yada. There's so many different figures you could use to just switch them out, or you could paint over it, acetone it off. Not a big deal there. So now that we've covered Adam Cole, guys, let's go on and compare it to my custom Adam Cole. All right, guys, so here we have my custom Elite Adam Cole up next to the official Mattel Adam Cole. This figure was using a Bo Dallas base, so he does have the accurate torso. You know, his legs are a little bit bigger and longer. I'll probably be popping these legs over here and the knee pads. And uh, this is how you will see Adam Cole going forward on Vindication. I'm sure, you know, I, I told you I've already filmed Sold Out. So, uh, or not completely filmed, but I filmed the portion that Adam Cole's in, so I don't think you'll see the Mattel produced figure on the show, but uh, you can compare the, uh, you know, the tattoos right here. I like the decal over here better, it just stands out more. Um, this is probably a little bit more subtle, and he does have his Bullet Club money in the bank briefcase, so let's pop this out of his hands, and let's pop it onto the, uh, you know, official. Let's see what the official looks like holding the money in the bank briefcase that uh, Adam Cole won at Money in the Bank, MDT Money in the Bank, so if we see a right here look how sick that is brad carrying the bullet club money in the bank briefcase with that 250 grand in it you know what is he going to spend his money on but that's that's epic so we got the adam cole figure with the money in the bank briefcase and i'll go ahead and take the shirt off of my custom so you guys can uh, see what i'm talking about with the torso and what that would look like on here so you can see this one's a bit bigger, you know, it probably looks better for Adam Cole, but people are saying he has abs now, so that this is more accurate, but I don't know. I, this is bigger, but this is more ripped up, but this is this kind of makes him look scrawny. I don't know what, what to go with, but uh, that pretty much does it for Adam Cole, and uh, let's take a look at the whole Undisputed Era together again. The other member of the trio known as Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. And here we have the Undisputed Era all back together again with the NXT Tag Team Championships and Adam Cole carrying the NXT Championship with, of course, his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase because he can't go anywhere without his moolah. But here we go, guys. This is pretty much it for this WWE Elite figure review on this set, guys. I highly highly recommend you pick this up i mean this is one of the most epic sets that mattel has ever pumped out again go over to ringside collectibles and grab this if you haven't you know use that promo code md toys to save 10 percent on your purchase that way you can save a little money while you're picking up this set but that pretty much does it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching i'm gonna go post these guys around do some parts swapping and just enjoy the crap out of these figures guys but Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.